Welcome back everyone and welcome back to World of Worship. Today guys I have a very interesting and very unusual destroyer, the Gremiash. And this uh, we have a huge pleasure to watch this awesome captain, uh, Rick 1806. Rick is from Germany and this is an EU server of course and uh, uh, it's Solomon Island. Now. I do apologize. Uh, the first thing I like to say, I like this map a lot. This is one of my favorite maps. Uh, yeah, it's a replay glitch. Uh, anyhow, this video, guys, it's dedicated uh, to my uh, to, from all my heart to three of my Patreon uh, and uh, three of my subscribers, and it's a. Uh, uh, kind uh, way to say from my bottom of how thank you and I'll just give them their first name thank you very much Tristan from Germany thank you very much um, David and thank you very much Philip all those three I, I don't have any words to say thank you enough but please let me know <laughs> I have a question to all of you and probably I would like to yeah you can give me an uh, answer what do you think about Grimashi would this destroyer be um, broken or too good in today's live uh, server I know when she came out she this was the absolute the most broken premium ship in this game uh, however you cannot invisible fire and uh, she's fast but probably not the fast but we gonna have a very in okay AP is loaded for crowd out loud why not 500 damage all right okay ouch ouch we receive a huge damn hit uh, hard hitting the French cruisers kind of a bad start you only had 13,000 HP so keep that in mind guys uh, overpower or not your HP pool it's Okay, kind of interesting still using the AP one ricochet because why the hell not <laughs> okay you see now three shells did close to 1900 that's something uh, yeah back then when she came out this is such an old uh, premium ship a matter of fact this is one of the oldest premium ship it's so uh, back in uh, beta that only few players own this ship uh, so whatever you see a Gremiashi remember that guys this captain it's not a noob he probably has been playing this uh, sh uh, the game for probably three years so keep that in mind I I honestly believe that today's meta it's a little bit different story what you supposed you see when this ship came out you don't didn't need a damn smoke to do massive of damage why because you could invisible fire for days good torps that it's eight kilometer torps for you uh, the torpedo of this uh, destroy it's not a um, normal one matter of fact I do believe it's uh, like Murmansk eight kilometer torps I honestly believe I have no idea why Gnevni and all those tier 5 uh, destroyer has such a crappy uh, torpedoes. Oh, I know they are good gunboats, but the point is that the Gremiashi does not have any battle. And now I do believe he is going to use the smoke. AP is loaded, 750 probably. Yeah. 90. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good hit and 1900 again yeah Carl Sue does not have a whole lot of armor but you kind of need to hit okay now the mass ma matchmaking I kind of forgot it's very very good um, Okay, this is October Revolutia, you know, uh, tier 5, very good matchmaking for him as well. Now, Clemson does have the best smoke and also uh, pretty darn, darn good guns. 
it's actually my favorite tier 4 destroyer uh, however I still believe that uh, let me put it this way very 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 uh, simple uh, Clemson, Izoslav and Gremyashid I know they are uh, tier 5 and tier 4 but what I'm trying to say is that pay a little bit attention some player could be uh, you know just try to grind up I'm talking for the Clemson it's a regular silver ship but some players they are still clubbing with that particular ship and uh, with Gremyashi you, you don't quite uh, uh, <laughs> uh, seal clubbing because you are veteran so yeah only four guns but they are very hard hitting guns oh she will eat a lot of torps Kaiser yep two torpedo hits cause flooding I do believe and I do, this Kaiser it's a history I know the uh, turret traverse speed was kind of a bad oh that was one bad 250 damage oh, salvo only still 250 very weird that he is using so much AP you would probably got wrecked if you were using the HE it's it's a um, Russian a uh, HE for crowd out loud <laughs> let's try to shoot in the smoke okay we are detected Pe pop the sp uh, uh, speed boost Ooh, ouch Revolution. I honestly believe that he's thinking he's safe, but honestly, he might eat maybe three or even four. He, oh man, he will eat all the torps in the world. I honestly believe that. Oh man, don't do that. Don't do that. Fuck. Oh, okay. Ooh, three. I I believe he eat all four torps, but three uh, did the. <laughs> Man, you never reverse in that ship. <laughs> uh, yeah, the hard hitting torch, that's for damn sure. Uh, this captain already have 96,000 damage. Oh, by the way, I kind of also forgot. Um, when this ship came up, the, the, um, the, the tier 5 had much better matchmaking than today's live version okay the most OOP battleship in this game the Nikolai uh, the Gremash also have pretty good stealth very good stealth what could it have and good gun range very healthy he need to put this dude on fire It's like playing versus a Rasputin. Very hard to put this dude on fire. But he's on fire, which is good. A pretty good salvos. 1100, not bad for this tier. Okay, he received Confeder and High Caliber at the same time. Can he torp him? Uh, probably doesn't look that. Oh, lucky son of a gun! <laughs> lucky Nikolai. Uh, yeah. Well, torpedo are not that fast. They are long range, like eight kilometers, but they are not that fast. But they are very, very much workable. But the guns, the guns, it's everything. You have pretty darn good guns at tier five. And the range. I don't know who tried to, to, to use the torps for. Very interesting. HMS Orion. Maybe it was, was for HMS Orion. I don't know that salvo. Hmm. Now he shrinked the Nikolai pretty good. Now the HP pool is not that much. I. I kind of like tier 5s, unfortunately when you are versus tier 7 it's not so much fun, 
However, at uh, tier 4 it's different story. Now, uh, once again, the reason uh, probably this is how it is, it's because Gremiashi shines in top dog. Especially in the, when you are facing uh, tier fives and below, um, or otherwise, uh, there's such a huge, in my opinion, power creep at tier seven. I mean, we ha you have Bliska, you have Leningrad, you have so many good tier sevens uh, destroyer there. Or it's hard to do well versus. So I r really would like to see Wargaming they do something about the matchmaking. It's not quite fair uh, that uh, you you can do so little and 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 and, and trying. But uh, once again, when you're top dog, it's different story. Uh, I personally believe that one plus one minus one matchmaker would be ideal for everyone. It's tier five playing tier five. It's brutal, even though. You could have a lot of fun. I'm talking about the new oncoming October Revolution and uh, the Italian uh, Giulio Cesare. It's also tier 5. Sure, you can have a lot of fun. Okay, this is AFK Clemson. No, maybe it's not. He's definitely not a good player here. Very hard hitting arms. Very hard hitting. I do believe it's goodbye Clemson and V25 is the next. <laughs> oh, it's cleaning job. <laughs> And uh, uh, V25, it's not visible. They shared the smoke, the buggers. But then the Gremiashi came and uh, eh, this is still alive with V170, right? Mm, but I don't believe they will be for such long. Emily Bertin, HMS Orion, very healthy uh, uh, Orion, yeah, it is. Uh, so, yeah, I I do believe that this captain did the right thing. You are a destroyer hunter and a destroyer killer. And you have the speed and maneuver, and this is... Enemy destroyers. <laughs> oh, you never move one inch. <laughs> Both of those two destroyers, there he died. Right in their own smoke. <laughs> How hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Uh, definitely showing you seven torpedo hits is not a joke. 115,000 damage, four kills, and HMS Orion, uh, okay, at a uh, range of 7.1. You don't know a clue, and I like this captain. He knows when to use the guns and to when to not use the guns. Use the gun and torps because. I believe that your torpedo are more than good enough to deal with a pretty healthy HMS Orion. The most overpowered silver ship. What is silver ship? A regular ship that everyone can unlock. Of course, the Nikolai, the uh, Russian Nikolai, it's the most overpowered premium. He dodged like a boss. Well, I'm uh, impressed. I'm uh, impressed. Now, the concealment of this captain, it's amazing because I do believe it's uh, under six kilometers or something. Yeah, I do believe so. Or probably 6.1. That's detection, 6.1. Uh, how good is 6.1? A full HP, uh, oh, what should I say? Uh, Shinome, eh? Fubuki also has 6.1 the in detection. I'm talking about with a camo and concealment expert. So you have the same concealment as uh, Fubuki and Shinome. 6.1. Oh, this guy is busy shooting. Okay, very interesting. Shooting the Kaiser. He is, uh, what do you call it? F blind uh, tunnel vision. Tunnel vision. Oh man, those torpedo will never hit uh, nothing again. But your torpedo rearm it's up in. Okay, this is very interesting. He has one smoke left. 
He's shooting to this Kaiser, but the one who's melting him away in peace. And of course, pop the smoke. <laughs> ah, what a bummer. Uh, and now, yeah, I like this approach that he only sent one to white sent two when you only need one. And then you always have one more cause flooding and he will uh, repair it. Yeah. <laughs> Crack and insert. <laughs> no, it was very poor play by this uh, Orion. It was tunnel vision disguised, but the one who took him in down was the Gramiash. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching.